What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about the FIFA E World Cup 2024. So a lot of questions coming in about this, right? So hopefully this clears it up. I already have one video done on it. There's 18 nations taking part in this and chances are if you're watching this video looking for answers as to, you know, a lot of people ask me, how can I take part in this? How can I qualify? It's already past the qualification stage and now we're into round three which is going to be a tournament between the nations. And I'll show you that in a second here, right? There's obviously the top players from each nation going to be battling it out in round three for the ultimate prize of actually representing your nation at the event proper once it's gone out of the qualifying rounds. So you will have noticed a couple of days ago or maybe two weeks ago, this tournament was available in the events for everybody. This FIFA E World Cup 2024 tournament to take part in tournament-based events. But obviously, if you didn't pass round one or round two, for a multiple multitude of reasons, and I'll get into those reasons in a second, you will not have been able to qualify for round three. So for example, for me, I obviously am Irish, my nationality is Irish, so I was not in this tournament. No matter what team I picked here, I could pick Morocco, I could have picked uh, Portugal, France, England, it doesn't make a difference. I could have passed the first two rounds, but I was never going to be able to qualify for the third round or qualify for the event proper because obviously you need to have the same nationality as one of the teams in here. So in order to actually qualify, you would need to be Portuguese nationality, playing for Portugal, get through round one and round two, and then in round three, win that. And I'll show you here in a second because round three is currently ongoing, right? But I want to know your thoughts on this. As you see here, round one was a teamed event that every good, everybody could play with rewards, right? Against the AI. The second round was a PvP and then the third round is obviously ongoing at the moment. And they've obviously tweeted out about this right now on FIFA E or at FIFA E. And Konami have actually tweeted out about it as well. They, those are the 18 nations that are going to be taking part that you see on your screen there. But yeah, listen, I think with esports, man, it's always difficult to get the balance right. And obviously you would want as many nations competing as possible. But as I've said before, like there's always going to have to be some sort of like ranking or participation in it. Because not everybody is going to be able to qualify, right? Round one, round two, and then obviously round three was going to be PvP from the 18th of the 10th. That is obviously yesterday when it kicked off, yesterday morning, and it's continued through. So I think it's 20 matches. We'll get it up on screen here in a second. But that is essentially what the process was. Everyone could complete round one. Everybody could complete round two, and you could get your rewards. But in order to actually qualify for round three and to move on, you needed to hit those different conditions, right? So yeah, it's it's um it's definitely something I think like collaboration wise that FIFA and Konami in the esports model it actually could work, especially if they're going to be bringing a mode like this in here. I mean, they have the screens here, they have everything in here, um, you know, and the and the animations and stuff and the transitions and stuff. So it will be very interesting to see if there's anything that comes in the future. As I said, I have a full video done on this already, where we've talked about this at length already. So it is going to be interesting to see what happens once this tournament is over, what kind of numbers that they're getting. Honestly, man, I have so many ideas on this to kind of improve it and to bring in the community and, and to do other bits and pieces. But we will leave that for another video, right? Because I do feel at this stage that... It's something different. I mean, obviously, esports is, is kind of a different taste for people. But let me know your thoughts. I'm interested to know, do you guys have interest in esports? Like, do you actually have an interest in esports events like this, right? There's also the official website if you guys want to check that out. Um, and as I said earlier, this is a, a Portuguese player, Clap IMV, obviously a very high skill player. 20 wins, as you can see there on the leaderboard. They are already going through the round three, right? So yeah, as I said, man, just a bit of information there. I'm just more interested for myself as to like who the esports is actually like, is it to you or is it to me or is it to somebody watching this video? Are you guys interested in the esports or is it just something that you just have no interest in, in terms of, you know, the people watching, in terms of people actually qualifying? Um, let me know what the crack is. Other than that, boys, I will talk to you later. Peace. Don't forget to subscribe.